We start this Friday at 4 o'clock with the officer who placed a woman in a police car before a freight train crashed into it. Has now been found guilty of two criminal charges. But while she was convicted of two misdemeanors, Officer Jordan Stanky of Fort Lupton avoided a felony today. She was on trial in Greeley this past week. Investigative reporter Jeremy Hahola has more on why the judge found her guilty. Ten months after a train collided with the police car with a woman inside, the officer who placed the suspect inside that police vehicle gets convicted in court. Officer Jordan Steinke wept as the judge found her guilty of two misdemeanors, assault and endangerment. The judge noted Steinke's earlier testimony this week in which she admitted to seeing the tracks but not perceiving them as a risk. When she testified to that, I wrote down, what does that mean? And then I thought about that. Uh, and frankly, this is what it means to the court. It's the equivalent of acknowledging that she was aware of the signs and information that this was a railroad track, but didn't appreciate the risk. The judge found Steinke not guilty of the felony charge of reckless attempt of manslaughter, saying she did not knowingly intend to harm the victim. Yoreni Rios survived with multiple broken bones. Well, interestingly, when the judge gave his verdict, she was literally at a doctor's appointment. So, um, you know, and that, and that pretty much is typical. I mean, she has appointments every week. Chris Ponce is the attorney for Rios. Absolutely. She respects how the judge, the judge's thought process. And, and she was online for the issuing of the verdict and the judge's record. And, and, and she absolutely respected how the judge was very thoughtful about how he thought about the case. Justice to her certainly, certainly meant um, the officer being convicted of a criminal offense. Of note here, the misdemeanor conviction of assault is a disqualifying factor to be a police officer in Colorado. This means Jordan Steinke will likely lose her state certified ability to be a police officer. Her law enforcement career ends with today's conviction. She will be sentenced in September, mid September to be uh, more specific. She could face up to 364 days behind bars under the law. However, it is unlikely a judge will send her behind bars because of her prior clean record. It's likely we'll be there for that court date too. Liban Greeley, Jeremy Hohola, 9 News. Jeremy, this case does involve one officer's role. Uh, will this case now affect the other officers who are also facing uh, some charges as well? Yeah, the other officer involved here is Platteville police officer Pablo Vasquez. It was actually he who parked his patrol unit on the train tracks. He is facing several misdemeanors, so I would anticipate his defense attorneys are likely going to expect some sort of, uh, you know, potential conviction if he goes to trial. That case could end in some sort of plea deal, too, so we'll see what happens. Some resolution today, more to come. All right, Jeremy, thanks.